so good morning all today uh, i will use arduino to generate the pwm pulse using matlab so here we are discussing about the arduino uh, arduino board and how we, we can generate the pwm pulse with the help of matlab okay so for that you need to have uh, first you need to install the matlab in your system then you need to uh, get this uh, software uh, hardware support package so for that you need to click on the app just go on get add-ons and click on get hardware support package so first you need to install the uh, hardware support, uh, support package for Arduino then so now, now it is open so uh, you can see I have installed MATLAB support package for Arduino hardware and I have also uh, installed the Simulink support package for the Arduino board. So uh, with the help of these two blocks, uh, when you install these two packages, you will get you will get the uh, different block sets for the Arduino that can uh, by which you can uh, generate the PWM pulses. So first you need to install the this hardware support package in your system after installation of MATLAB. Then then so let us start how we can generate the pwm pulse using uh, arduino and matlab so for, uh, for that you need to open the um, one uh, simulink file a blank simulink file just open then you need to have the uh, pulse generator you can find pulse generator in matlab so it, it is a pulse generator second thing you need to open the Arduino block set just uh, once you install the software uh, uh, hardware support package in your MATLAB you will find this uh, this Arduino blocks in your uh, MATLAB uh, simulink in your MATLAB so here what we are going to do we are going to generate the PWM pulse on the digital pin of the Arduino so for that you need to you need to add the digital output so just add the digital output in your uh, file in your uh, simulink file and just connect it just open the digital output of Arduino block here I have connected the um, DSO on pin number 3 of Arduino board so just uh, I'm just uh, giving the I'm just assigning the pin number 3 for digital output just open the pulse generator amplitude keep it as uh, one amplitude no issue with that period <coughs> here uh, wa uh, at what uh, like um, suppose I am generating the one one kilohertz frequency uh, one kilohertz frequency of the pulse okay so what you need to do we need to give the period so I have given the uh, period one, one upon 1000 that means the frequency is one kilohertz here you can give the pulse width Initially, I am uh, taking pulse width as a 10%. That means the duty cycle is 10%. Okay. And after that, you need to do some modification. What modification you need to do? After that, you need to click on modeling and uh, open your model setting. Small changes you, you need to do in, in uh, configuration parameter. The first thing is solver setting. Just keep it as in fixed state. Open the hardware implementation. Here you need to select the board. Here I am selecting the Arduino Uno board. Click on OK. Now this model is ready to dump in uh, in your Arduino board. So you need to connect the your Arduino board through USB cable to your system where you are using the MATLAB. And you can see whether it is connected or not. You can see in this command window it is indicating that Arduino Uno is connect detected. That means it is uh, perfectly connected with the MATLAB. So what you need to do you need to give the stop time in 
infinity so that it can uh, simulate the models for the infinite time period just click on monitor and tune now you can see the pulse which we are generated through the arduino here you can see in the channel wall channel wall of the dso we are getting the pulse of duty cycle 10% So here I am going to change the duty cycle and we can see the corresponding change in the pulse width in DSO. So here I am putting 30% duty cycle and you can see the corresponding change in DSO. We are having 30% duty cycle now. I am changing this duty cycle to 40% and you can see the corresponding change in DSO. So we can generate the different pulse of, uh, of different duty cycle with the help of this Arduino and MATLAB.